Okay, so we're gonna be talking a little bit about switches at this point. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make a new file uh, and uh, we're gonna wait, uh, those of us in the classroom are gonna wait here just until everything's finished and then you guys are gonna be doing this afterwards. So, so we got our source file, we're gonna save this as, uh, we're gonna save it as a, um, you know, a name that we can refer back to. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna be calling it um, switch until bump. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna be talking about is that how switches control the flow of a program. So in this case, we're using these natural language, uh, you're using this natural language um, uh, set of commands here. Uh, and it gives us this great ability to, instead of using loops and if statements only to control the flow of the program, it gives us this until, this idea of until, which means that the flow of the program pauses at a particular location and then uh, waits for some, uh, some event to happen, okay? In this case, it waits for a switch to be clicked, but there's a lot of different ways to click a switch apparently, so. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is do our motors and sensor setup. So in this case, we have a motor, we're gonna call it left motor. Uh, in port one, okay, and it's a 393 motor. We also have a digital sensor, okay, and we're gonna call that left switch, okay? And it's going to be a touch sensor, okay? So any kind of a switch in robot C is a touch sensor, okay? So no matter what the switch looks like, if, it, if you can click it and it's a switch, it's a touch sensor, okay? Okay, so whether it's a bump switch, a limit switch, it's a touch sensor. Okay, all right, so we have our setup done there, okay? And notice that, um, just to go back in, notice that we put this into digital one. Okay, so the touch switch for us is in digital one. Okay, it can be in anything, as long as you, uh, the great thing about naming these switches and not referring to the ports or naming everything and not referring to the ports is you can switch around the physical configuration as long as the names stay the same, you don't have to change your programming, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna drag over, kind of similar to what we've done before, we're gonna drag over a start motor uh, and then stop motor. What we're not gonna drag over is the weight. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the start motor and stop motor, so we have left motor. Okay, and our speed is 127. Okay, and then our port is, our next one is also left motor. Okay. And we're gonna leave line seven and line nine blank. Okay, so let's think a little bit about a switch. So if you have a switch next to you, go ahead and pick it up. And what, you, what I want you to think about is the fact that there are actually two states to a switch, okay? There's a, and if you notice, if we go into this until area, you'll see that there's a lot of difference. So we have a bump, we have a release, and we have a touch, okay? So the idea here is that a touch is a click down. So click the switch down, that's touch. Let the switch up, that's release, okay? If you do them both together, if you bump and release, that's, sorry, not bump and release, if you touch and release, that's a bump, if that makes sense, okay? So if you think about it, if you can imagine now, if you take the switch in one hand, and you can imagine a robot that's rolling, moving towards an obstacle, and you click it, it's important to have that event because when it runs into the wall, that's a touch. When it backs up to the point that the switch unclicks, that's the release, right? So you, you need to really understand it at kind of a low, kind of micro level, what is happening with this equipment, right? Okay, the last thing you need to understand is that, is that physical equipment is not perfect, okay? What you can get is like a jiggle in the switch, okay? So basically what you can get is that when the switch releases, it won't be like a clean release of electricity the electricity will pop on and off. Like it'll, it'll go on, off, on, off, on, off, real in quick succession as the switch is released. We call that bounce. So when the switch, when the switch like jiggles a little bit, electricity is not cleanly cut off or cut on, that's bounce in the switch, okay? And all, almost all electrical components that are physical, real components have this like um, unpredictability built in. So as programmers, we have to plan for that, all right? So, we are gonna start off with this one until command. And so until you actually need it, in, a, in the case where you're just having something click and release the switch, we're gonna use this until bump that has like two parameters instead of one, okay? 
So notice that um, notice that you have until bump, until button, until release, until touch, okay? We're gonna use this until bump that has both sensor port and delay, okay? So what the delay time in milliseconds does, what this part of the function does, is it makes the switch not respond to any um, jiggling in it, any bounce in it, for a period of time. So once it bumps, once it touches and release, it waits like 500 milliseconds, like half a second, to, uh, to then respond to any further stimulus, right? Like any further uh, uh, clicking of the switch, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make it 500, okay? And the delay time here is also 500. And then the sensor port, we're just gonna use our left switch, right? That's just the name of our switch. Okay, left switch. Okay, so that is our um, that is our flow control. So a lot of programming, interestingly enough, is controlling the flow of the program, right? So flow control are like loops, if statements. It's basically making decisions in your code to like run certain code, not other code, to repeat certain code, to not repeat other code. Okay, and when in the in um in the um when combined with a robot. It, it, that's what the robot is doing, right? You're, switch, you're skipping some things the robot could do. You're, you're waiting for things when the robot is doing a function. Um, so this flow control is very important. So the first one we're doing here is until bump. So the effect that this will have is that the program will start and nothing will happen, okay? It will pause here on line eight. When you're running in robot C, you'll actually see line nine highlight because it highlights the next line that's gonna run. So it will pause on line eight until the switch is clicked, until a, a, a touch and release happens, right? Then it will run on line nine, right? It starts the motor. It pauses on line 10. The motor is still running because you started the motor, okay? It pauses on line 10 until you click the switch again. At that point, it run lines, runs line 11, stops the motor, and then stops the program. Okay, so that's the effect you should get. All right, guys, uh, so good luck.